Hey Tripsters, how are you? Today we are reviewing the Hyatt Regency in Kanapali in the gorgeous uh, Lahaina area on the gorgeous island of Maui. So we have so many great things in this video. We're going to do a room tour, a club level uh, room. So top of the hotel, great views. We're going to show you what it means to be in club level and give you a, uh, a, a preview of the actual club level and the services that you get. You're also going to see the entire property. We also had some time to tour the spa, so you're going to get to see that too. Also, if you'd like to stay tuned till the end of the video, I'm going to give you my top three things that you have to see on the island of Maui there. Do not miss us. Our number one restaurant recommendation and how you're supposed to wear your flower when you're in Hawaii. It's very important so you don't get in trouble. So thanks for watching the video, Tripsters. I'm uh, Cindy Williams, the owner of Tripsy Travel, your luxury travel planners. Enjoy the video. We'll see you then. Tripsy Travel. Today we are at the Hyatt Regency Club Level Suite 2221. We have this gorgeous little area. It's kind of a foyer to the bathroom. There's a little mini fridge in there. We also have coffee service. Nice marble top for some extra luggage. Now one of the cool surprises in this bathroom that I did not expect, look at this giant closet. How nice is this? Couple of bathrobes, you're safe. Some additional drawers and your luggage carriers back there as well. In the bathroom we have a water closet as well as vanity area. All marble, granite, very nice. Let's go into the main area now. Now this particular suite is a queen and a double, which is what they offer for their double bedding at the Hyatt Regency. Club level. Have a nice TV, very large TV. Some additional storage here. Nice little sitting area. Another sitting area over here, but of course, the cherry on top, check out this view. Again, this is an ocean front, not an ocean view unit. So it truly is ocean front. We'll take a walk out here and you can see this gorgeous view. How beautiful is that? We're on the west side of the island, so we'll be able to see the sunset every night while we're here. So if you were thinking about going to Hawaii, Contact us at Tripsy Travel. We know all the fantastic resorts to go to, and we can have you here in the Jiffy. Thanks, guys.
thanks for staying tuned. I hope you enjoyed our property tour, our room tour. Isn't the Hyatt Regency awesome? Such an amazing property. We visited several times and it was such a treat to stay at club level this time. So, so great. As promised, I want to share with you my top three do not misses for the island of Maui. Number one, Make sure you do Haleakala Crater. My preference is sunrise. Haleakala actually means house of the sun. The reason they call it that is when the sunrise happens, it literally looks like the sun is rising up out of the crater. It is an out of this world, heavenly, next level experience. You have to get up around 3, 4 in the morning and go up the mountain so you can see it in time. It's cold, so pack some, uh, some warm clothes for that particular uh, trip. But do not miss it. It is fantastic. And also very important, there's permits that are required, so make sure you work with our travel agency and we'll get you all the information on how you do that. It's super inexpensive, but you have to know how to do it. Secondly, make sure you guys do a whale tour if you're going during whale season. Whale season is December through about May every year, and uh, the the real key time is January, February, when you see that peak uh, whale season. It's an amazing experience. Most of the, the companies uh, that we work with actually have a guarantee that if you don't see any whales, you're allowed to go back out on the tour later that day or the next day. I've never been on a tour where I didn't see a whale though, so it's been pretty phenomenal. They have the micro, the hydrophones, I think they call them, that they put down, and you can actually hear the whale song, so that's amazing. The other do not miss is the road to Hana. If you don't love driving, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you don't mind driving, it is an amazing experience. The road to Hana is kind of a, it's a drive, but it has stopping points. So you get to see different amazing things. So you saw some, you're actually going to see some pictures in a second of the eucalyptus trees, some of the waterfalls, and uh, that's an amazing time. And either on your way up to the road to Hana or your way home, probably the way home, do the road to Hana in the morning if you can on the way home, stop at our number one restaurant recommendation for the entire island, Mama's Fish House. You need to make reservations very important it is amazing it's we actually have a we have another video coming out in a couple weeks where we actually interviewed some of the staff there at mama's fish house it is not unusual to see celebrities and they kind of shared some of the celebrities that frequent there um there's always a wait unless you have a reservation the food is Amazing. I, I had it when I was there uh, 10 plus years ago on my honeymoon, and I had it again recently. We were just there a couple months ago. It was fantastic, and it has stayed consistent. And the views, the ocean views you get there are, are amazing. So don't miss that. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, our tour of Maui today. If you're getting ready to plan your vacation to Maui, make sure you reach out to us. We are Hawaii enthusiasts. We know all the great things. We have another video about all the other five and four stars properties in Waialea, which is the other side of the island. Make sure you check that out as well. But if you're going during whale season, it's very important which part of the island you're on in order to have the opportunity to see the most whales either from the beach um, or to have access to the cruises that happened as well. And we can work with you on all of that. But oh, one more thing that I promised you, we needed to learn about the flower so you don't get in trouble. So here's the rule when you're wearing your flower on uh, any of the Hawaiian islands. If you wear your flower on your right ear, it means that you're single and available. If you wear it on your left ear, it means that your it signifies it's over at your left, which is where your heart is, which signifies that you're already taken. So I'm wearing it on my left because my husband and I had our honeymoon in uh, Hawaii 10 plus years ago, and it was amazing. So again, thanks for tuning in. I'm Cindy Williams with Tripsy Travel, your luxury travel planners. Take care, guys. Bye.